Good evening everyone, it's Luther P40. Uh, you might be able to tell I'm starting to build some accessories and additional parts for my uh, for my system. This one right here is going to be my upside down cell. And when I get done building it, the only thing that's going to be at the top is the outlet port for the gas. Uh, all my connections, the cell is going to be supported from the bottom. Completely from the bottom, it's going to have my, there's my return line from re recycling function. But the entire cell is going to be upside down. And it's going to be, uh, what am I trying to say, it's, it's going to work like a dry cell. In other words, there's, there's, no, there's no intentional air pocket going to be allowed to be in the top of this. This will be uh, pumping the, the, the uh, solution and the gas into a reservoir, which is, this, which is going to be this thing. In my reservoir slash uh, slash first stage or last stage bubbler or I'm sorry yeah it's gonna be for the reservoir for first stage bubbler uh, it's gonna be the first top off these caps right here are gonna are gonna, are gonna serve double purpose they're gonna be my blowout caps if I need them uh, it's gonna be a blowout cap here uh, my gas is gonna be the gas that's gonna be coming out right about in here this is this will be the a place where the gas goes out to the to the uh, to the engine. My return or my uh, gas come inlet coming in is going to be on on the side, probably probably right about in here. And the return line probably going to be down at the bottom or maybe down in the side here. I haven't quite worked out where I want it to be yet. So there'll be a return line going back to the cell, the incoming line coming from the cell, and there's going to be a gas line of some sort come, going leaving the leaving the bubbler area so this right in here will be the, where the where the HHO will be collected there won't be any collected in the top of the cell there's not going to be any pumps and I'm going to use the convection convection of the cell itself to actually cause the uh, circulation to occur and if I decide that it needs to have a uh, radiator I'm going to put it I want to put the radiator in the return line so that the uh, the solution is going to be chilled as it leaves the, after it leaves the reservoir and before and it re-enters into the cell. So it'll be cold cold solution coming up from the bottom. Um, this is just going to be a standard bubbler, but also with a pop off on it. Uh, these are just standard bubblers. One of them one of them is going to be for the car if I need it. So for all intents and purposes, I'm going to have I'm going to have two bubblers for the car. This one right here is going to be for my test bench. So basically, I'm having two complete setups: one for the car, one for the test bench. And like I said, I, what I can do with this one is I can keep on changing out my cells, trying out different ones until I find, you know, if I find something better than what I have now, then I'll use it. Uh, and I built, <coughs> I built a uh, second, second flame arrester. You know, once I built one, I said, well, I, you know, you can never have too many. So. <laughs> I built another one. This one is much, it's probably way too big. Actually, I've been thinking about, see this one's a four inch tube. I'm thinking I'm gonna make, get one as a, I'm gonna try one as three inch. I'm gonna try to get these kind of fittings for it and get a three inch tube, either stainless steel or brass, one of the two. And then I'm just gonna test that, to see if, you know, maybe this is overkill. That's what I'm getting at. I mean, the advantage, the, the, the the advantage of this is you got such a length that it that as the gas burns back in here, you know, the, as the gas is coming this way, pushing it pushing it out, trying to cool it off, this is taking the heat away from it, preventing the fire from continuing. I don't know. We'll see how that works. So I got, I got, uh, I got bubblers. I got flash, flash arresters. I got upside down cells. This one is in fact working like an upside down cell, except for the only, the only reason why I don't call it upside down is because the cap is on the top and the connections are on the top. This one is going to be, this one is going to be an upside down cell. Everything's going to attach from the bottom side. And it's going to have a, it's going to have a rubber cap on the bottom. So if I ever need to tear it apart, I can get to it and turn it, take it out and turn it upside down. I have access to everything. There's there's a <clears throat> there's some re there's a reason for doing it like that, but uh, I'll save that I'll save that argument when I'm 
when I get to show this video to the guys at HHO Huntsville. Of course, they'll want to see a working copy, so I'm, I'm not going to show them this one. I'll wait until I have, actually have it built. Anyways, uh, that's, uh, I think that's it for now. I don't think I got anything new. Yeah, this is uh, Luther P40 uh, signing off. Thank you very much for taking the time to watch my videos. Take care.